Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels like it has been a hot minute since I have filmed a video. I did a bit of like batch filming a few weeks ago, so I haven't sat down in a while. But today I was getting ready, I was about to do my hair, and I realized I never filmed a video on the style I'm about to do. And there's nothing unique about it, nothing different at all. I'm sure you guys know how to do it, but I have a couple little tricks for when I style my hair this way, so I thought I would hop on camera and show you. I know I've mentioned before that I have some gray hairs so I'm also going to be covering them in this video so you can see one of the products that I love to use which I have shared before but I'm gonna share it again anyway so I'm just gonna show you the style chit chat a little while we do it so if you want to see my favorite French braids keep watching okay so the first thing we're gonna do is take a teasing comb and part our hair right down the middle or where your natural part kind of falls when I'm wearing French braids I want them to be pretty much down the center but sometimes we have weird hairlines I kind of have like a crooked widow's peak so I try to sort of go by that. I'm gonna go just right here. Not exactly on the peak, because I don't think that's definitely center. Like here's the peak. Yeah, see it's like a little off. So I washed and styled my hair yesterday. So this is gonna be a second day look. And mind you, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not like we're taking it to the red carpet or anything. I'm gonna be so honest with you, I don't really care what the back looks like. I'm gonna tie one side up while I braid the other. So we're gonna start over here. Just brush it out lightly. I don't know if I wanna leave my bang out or not. Maybe, maybe I do. Do I? Yeah, maybe I will. I'll pull it out after. All right, so you're gonna start by taking, I like to go across the top like this with three sections. And then it's just a little over under action. And the key is to grab just a tiny bit of hair as you go to get that really like clean, even braid. Do you guys see all my gray hairs? It's so bad. I don't have a hair appointment for another two weeks. I'm on like a four week schedule and I really should be on like a two week schedule. Struggle is real. So I was in the shower this morning. There's something I do in the shower every day that is like really weird and I like know it's weird. But then it got me thinking like, do other people do weird things? So in my bathroom, it is like a tub shower. So you know you have to like pull the little tub plug to take a shower. So after I'm done showering and I go to turn the water off, you have to put the plug down and the water comes out the tub. It's just the weirdest instinct or impulse that I have that I have to run each foot under the running water from the tub spout. I, I don't know, I'm such a weirdo. Then it got me thinking about like all the other strange things I do. This is the part you wanna bring all the braid up here. You don't wanna braid it to the bottom because then you get left with this like little nub thing. So try to get all the hair into the braid before you get below the ear. Um, so anyway, then I was thinking about like this other weird thing I do in the car. When I'm in the car, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. It reminds me of that episode of MTV, like I have OCD, do you remember that? Okay, so that's it, you just wanna braid it tightly to the bottom. When I'm in the car, every time I drive by a telephone pole, I squeeze my toes. I don't know why. Like the whole ride. It's like a video game or something. You have to hit every pole by squeezing your toes. I'm such a psycho. I thought that was funny. I thought that would, I would share that today, but let me know if you have any weird like OCD behaviors or habits. I like to braid as far to the bottom as possible. And we're gonna take a tiny elastic, tie it up. All right, let's do this side. See that? I don't like that very much, but we're gonna fix it. Part two. Take our three. See, I have a killer cowlick. You see that, baby? Anyone else have a cowlick? This side is always a little harder for me to do. Just because, I don't know, I'm a righty. Does that make a difference? Like, I can't even do it. One, two, three. You just gotta get it going. That's literally the hardest part. And remember to try to get all the hair into the braid before you get below the ear. Okay, 
tie it up. So this is where the trick comes in. Now, since I have pretty thin hair, like that's not a lot of hair at all. These are like the saddest looking braids. What I like to do is tug at them from the top and bottom to make them look fuller. To do that, we're gonna go like this. And I kind of like them like a little messy. Okay, so that's, to me that looks so much better than that. So now I'm gonna go in with a bobby pin and I don't like this here. I tried to avoid it, but sometimes it happens. I'm just gonna pin it up into the braid so you can't see it. All right, now we're gonna do this side. Just kinda loosen it up along the top. And this was one of those tricks that I didn't learn for years and I was going around with like kindergarten braids for so long but this will be like such a game changer for anyone who has, you know, finer hair that can't get that thick, gorgeous braid that, you know, a lot of girls can. Okay, for some reason, this side was easier to braid and this side was easier to like fluff. I kind of have the same issue. So I'm just gonna pin that part up into the braid. All right, so now I'm gonna go try to get a little bit of the bang out, just a little. Because this is a messier style, so guys, this dry scalp thing is giving me out. I'm sorry if it's giving you out, but just a couple of fuzzies. A couple on the side here. My mascara makes such a mess. So I shared this tip in my top knot video, but I have gray hair, unfortunately. Not a ton, but it's, it's coming for sure. Um, I'm gonna be like a gray head by the time I'm 50. But um, you can tell it's like sort of growing in. So I usually like to use some kind of root cover up, but I also like to use my root cover up to kind of fill in any like, you know, bare patches. So. This looks so thin to me. Half of it is because it's growing in white. The other half is because it just is thin. So I have my Color Wow, which is just a powder. And I take this and I use it to kind of make the hair look a little more full. It's just kind of like a natural look. I have um, like root cover up sprays too, but I don't, I just don't like them as much because your fingers get so, so dirty if you touch your hair. All right, so I think that's a little better. Now what I also like to do with the root cover up is take a little and go down my part because it'll just make it look less white. Like my face has a lot of makeup on. You see, see the difference? I want a little more bang. So that is it, you guys. That is how I create a cute, casual, everyday French braid for finer hair. Um, just to make it look a little more full, a little more robust. Um, anything to make my hair look bigger, I'm always about. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment letting me know if you still rock French braids or if you think they are too juvenile. Like, should we stop wearing French braids after middle school? I don't know, I played softball in high school and I, I wore them all the time. I loved it. I love, I love French braids. They just make me feel like fun and youthful and I think they're cute. I think you should wear your hair however you wanna wear it. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and I'll see you next time. Ah!